Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Flesh Eaters. It's important to note that the game is still under development, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. With that being said, the game is available on Steam's Early Access Program for 99 cents. Yes, I said that, 99 cents. So, uh, if you like what you see here, you can pick it up for a buck. Now, based on what I've played so far, and granted it's only been about 10 minutes, uh, the game crashed on me, so I really couldn't go beyond what I did, uh, but based on what I've played, this is a uh, survival game in the sense that you will pick a small team of people, and you'll sort of have to hold this area. Now, um, that's just based on the sandbox mode that I've played. As of right now, the story mode is under construction. And a lot of other things are under construction. Achievements, certain features in the sandbox mode. So what you're getting right now is a very bare bones experience at this point in time. I'm going to assume that more stuff will be added to the game as it continues over the course of development. But here's the options menu. There's music volume and yeah, there's a slider for music but none for sound, which is kind of strange. I don't know if it's this slider supposed to represent both, but then why is this slider up here? and not say in the middle or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I hopefully they add a sound effects slider at some point. There's a full screen toggle there where you can just do windowed mode and then you can select the language, but it says here coming soon. So again, uh, a lot of things missing from the current build. The only thing I can show you right now is sandbox. So if we go look at that. And, and and that's just a 5 to 10 second clip of some guy saying that there's some sort of outbreak. It, it's no tutorial, it's, it's nothing important. Uh, now as far as difficulty goes, easy and hardcore are both locked. According to this top part here, it says this is a test version, only regular difficulty is open for test. So once again, you're missing out on some other features that are, you know, otherwise available. So I guess we'll have to do that one difficulty. Um, there's an engineer, and again, he is locked, so I'm going to guess that he will be unlocked at some point in time over the course of development. But this engineer class can build traps and turrets. Also, he can use melee weapons. It should be two E's, okay. Um, soldier can use ranged weapons and armor, and then the medic can heal himself and others. So the team that I put together is three soldiers and a medic. So let's just go ahead and hit start. Now, granted, I've only played for five minutes. Like I was saying, um, the game crashed on me, so I really couldn't get very far. Um, but what you can do is you can have your team members interact with the environment, open doors, that kind of... Actually, let's get this guy to move. Move him down here, move this guy here. Open that door. And everything is done via the left click. I'm not really doing anything else. There we go. So I can make bullets here, for example, and make some metal here, and I should be able to make stuff here. I'm not sure, though. Yep. Now, off to the left-hand side, you can see on the very bottom left your supplies. Uh, you can make like bullets and rockets and shotgun shells with these bullet with this bullet maker here. I don't know how to craft medicine yet. Again, I just started playing. Maybe there's something up here. Uh, oh, craft equipment. Let's try that. Oh, there's an antibiotic station. I guess we should do that. We'll have the medic do that. Alright, in the meantime... Feature not finished. But what did I just try to do? Close a door? Alright, so basically I'm crafting bullets. I'm crafting metal right now. For what reason, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna want some backup here. A little pathfinding issues here. I cannot see him. Alright, what about this? Alright, I was able to close the door there. Okay, so I am making some med kits, which is good. Let's go ahead and craft some equipment. Feature not- okay. That's what I was trying to do that the game wouldn't let me do. I, I can't craft equipment. Now the medic doesn't seem to fire, so I have to keep him protected as much as possible here. Eh, 
And I think I'm in trouble. Run! Let's see, I can't draw a selection box, unfortunately, which is something I would expect from a game like this. For whatever reason, I can't seem to, like, I have to select them one at a time, which is very inconvenient, I think. I think I'm about to get killed here. Yeah, there's one. He's dead. Alright, now as far as like crafting other weapons, like this this military or this this soldier started with a pistol, whereas this one started with an assault rifle. I don't know how to choose what they start with. It would be nice if I could choose their starting weapons. We can close this door. There we go. Maybe barricade it. Out of bullets. Oh, well that's good. And my bullet maker is up there. Okay, so basically I'm screwed. <laughs> wonder if I can, like, go around. I don't think I'm gonna get any farther than this, folks. Can I get outside here? Oh, I can. I don't know if I want to. See if we can melee our way out of this. I doubt it. Nope, that one's dead. Yep, I'm dead. Okay, so at this point in time, that's all I can really show you because that's all the game has available to it. Um, I have to admit, this game is a little basic and bare bones right now, there's no tutorial. Um, there's no explanation as to how to play the game or how things work. Um, I managed to figure things out on my own after five minutes, and wow, that music is very annoying. I need to turn that down. But yeah, um, I managed to figure things out after, like, five minutes, but still, uh, some sort of tutorial would be nice. I'm hoping that's what will be, uh, sort of put into the story mode here. But, uh, unfortunately, I don't know what the story mode entails. I don't know if it's different locations, it's a static location that you have to defend, or if you can actually move around the environment and do different things. I'll be interested to see what comes of that. I do like the idea of a sandbox mode, but I don't like the idea of the other difficulties being locked. Like, why is that? Is it just because they didn't get around to adjusting the figures yet on easy and hardcore? Like, isn't it just a matter of adjusting, you know, damage numbers, spawn, rate, that kind of thing? So yeah, like I said, um, very basic and bare bones. On the plus side, the game is only 99 cents, uh, as of right now anyway. I don't know if there's going to be a price increase at launch, but um, if this is something that would suit your fancy, you can pick it up for cheap at relatively low risk. And uh, even then, I mean, you've got that Steam refund program now, so if you don't like it, you can always, you know, try and get that. So with that being said, if you guys want to see more gameplay video, let me know if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.